Hi guys, this is Gaming Guy Thomas here, and we are going to be finishing off Tomb Raider 1 in the Great Pyramid. Alright, let's do this. Alright, so the first thing you have to fight is that giant mutant thing. I think it's E.T., that's what I'm going to call it. Um, I know most people would use Uzis, but I'm going to use the shotgun. Because to me it's more much easier. Alright. Get away from me. Uh oh. Oh no, I'm taking damage. I'm not very good at this fight, so I usually die. <laughs> Yeah, I better use a health pack again. <sighs> and this ain't much of a good fight than I expected it to be, but well. Oh, yep, we did it. So when he does that pose thing, it means he's going to blow up, so keep away from him. Because if you get too close to him, you'll die. Right. Wasn't too bad, I suppose. At least I didn't die. Alright. Um, as you can see, there's a block which we can't pull out, so that means you have to go on the other side and push this block inwards, if that's even a word. <coughs> Probably is. Alright. So once we've done that, we are going to come up here. And push this block, which is the same block we just saw just then. Okay, so it's as you can see, you can hear those like clanging. No, not that. Like, oh, Lara, really, really, Lara. Yeah, great. Yeah, as you can see, you, you can hear those clanging noises. Um, yeah, obviously that's the teeth gate up ahead. Back to the right there, which I'm going to save. So yeah, obviously, okay, right there is a false platform. So obviously, obviously, you just want to quickly run. All right. Ah, sorry. Not very good. Not very good move there. Oh dear. Okay, let's try it again. Oh, there we go. Alright, down there is a switch which opens the switch behind the switch. And basically what we're going to do is we are going to come down here. And push this block. <coughs> and right. And once you've done that, we are going to go the other way around. And that block comes to be out here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go on the other side of this block and push it. Alright, but the thing is that it just so happens that we can't get up there, so we have to go all the way around to get up. Uh, 
And there we go, let's pull the switch. Which opens the door and we're right here. And I'm going to save because this is a, a pretty hard room. Now, you'll notice right ahead of us, there is a drawbridge, and that happens to be where the first secret is. Alright, so basically, in order to open, to activate it, just hop across there and it should open. Alright, let me just adjust my jumps right here. Did that open it? Not yet. Okay. Ow! I'm not a pro at this level, I'll tell you that. But it does take tries in order to do. Alright, I'm. And uh, should this be alright? Alright. Alright, let's try that again. I should be. Oh my god! Dang it! Alright, so I finally made it and the drawbridge is now activated. So we're gonna go all the way back over there. I'm going to save in case I mess this damn thing up. Alright. I probably will. Oh, please let this be it. Yes, I did it. Alright. So we've got shotgun shells, magnum clips, and a medpack. Not bad. Except the thing is, we don't really fight many things in this level. But, you know. Okay, I'm not really sure what that switch does, but... Yeah, alright. Hopefully I'm gonna... Yes! Yes! Oh, thank gosh. Okay, I'm going to save it again because I don't want to die again. Whew. Hard work this level is already for me. Alright. Okay, I'm not sure if I'm going to make this jump. Oh my goodness. I might take a step forward and... Oh, oh, you're kidding! Oh, damn it! You know what, I'm just gonna... Right, I did it! Thank you! Okay. Uh-oh. Yeah, yeah, I've got to mention, you can actually take damage from those things. Whatever they're called. Spectacles of lava. Alright, this is where we're gonna run into a boulder trap. So, yeah, just activate it by coming out here. Simply come out here. We, we, we're gonna have to do another one right now, anyway. Wait a minute. Yep. Which way is it? Okay. Alright, right here, you really need to, like, fill your health up, because basically, as soon as you fall down that false platform, you're going to take tons of damage, pretty much nearly all your life. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stand right here. Yep, as you can see, I took chunks of damage. And over there, of course, happens to be where we started the level. Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? I forgot to pick up the Uzi clips on the corners. Ah, screw it. We don't really need the Uzi clips anyway. Right, but I am going to select the Uzis anyway, because as you can see, there's the ski on, and we have to kill it. Alright, so once we've done that, so we're going to quickly come out here. Ignore the mutants up there, just drop down here. Well, I suppose you could kill them if you want to. Ah. Ok, 
key. I am going to save it. Alright. So hop down here. Alright, now this is a dart trap. Which which kind of sucks because you can't um, like not take damage from them. You have to take damage. Although it doesn't take much, but still. And if you're trying to figure out a way to not take damage, you're pretty much wasting your time. Alright, right here, uh, the top below me is a slope. As soon as you go on the slope, quickly jump. Because there's lava or spikes, I don't know. There we go. Okay, I know I literally just saved, but it's one of those situations. Alright, now, up there is a hole, and that's where a boulder's gonna come in. There are, happens to be Uzi clues right here. I can pick them up. Alright, basically, all you have to do is just come over here. Should be able to activate the boulder. Yep. And you'll notice that axe, and basically, in order to get past it, all you have to do is stand around here. As soon as it goes away, quit immediately jump. Alright, once you've done that, gently walk through these spikes. Alright, this is also a pretty hard place, because this level is pretty much filled with death traps. Yeah. And this requires tons of saving, and I feel sorry for the PlayStation 1 users. Um, okay, I kind of forgotten how to do this. I'm, pre I'm probably going to die anyway. But I'm just going to stand around here. Ah, oh, no. Yes, this level does require a lot of dying. Will this work? Oh, not bad. Okay, um, this is when we're going to get the second secret, and that happens to be where those items are over there. Now, you notice that wall with the red stuff, that happens to be a shimmy thing you can grab on. Alright, so let's jump over here, and just shimmy over. Now. All right, so we got Uzi clips, med pack, and med pack again. In fact, I think there are three med packs. Let me see. Okay, that one's one. I believe this is counts two med packs. Yes. Okay, now this is a quite a hard jump. You have to jump on that and immediately jump. Forward, um, I'm gonna save it again because I'm am likely to die. Um, how does this happen? Nah. Oh. 